50 oh. million in the <laughs> bank. Sake. Tony Bloomies. Oh. Oh god! Oh Ben Spalding, back at it again with some more world class content right here. Yeah. Back at it again with the white bands. Um, <laughs> right, sorry. Uh, just to apologise to everyone listening and watching for that. Um, just to having to. If you haven't you know, clicked off already, like fair play to you. I've got yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it Cheers, counts as a view though, so that's a remark. <laughs> <laughs> you can stop watching now, fine. Yeah. <laughs> also, <laughs> they, they, oh, they're going to be watching our new uh, hyper turquoise background today. Ooh. So. I hope you enjoy. Oh yeah! Let's all, let's all look around as if we're like, oh yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, look Ooh, at the hyper wow. turquoise. Oh, look at that! Look at that. That's lovely. Tur- <laughs> that turquoise is really hyper up there, hasn't it? <laughs> God, it's like right. a proper hyper from the left. I've got to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> right, boys, boys. Before we get into the football, obviously, um, let's start with Ryan. How how's your weekend, mate? What'd you get up to? Oh, um, mate, it's been a very uh, different weekend. I've been moving my sister into uni, so she's obviously oh. gone. So where she, where, yeah, where I, uni she gone to. She's gone to Winchester, so it's not too far away. But yeah, big shout out to... <laughs> uh, she's done well. She's done well. She's, she's settled over there. Um... <laughs> Actually, I probably shouldn't call her that because she'll get all funny about it. I'll call her um... I'll call her Mia. But no, for the sake of it, no. Shout out Mia. She's done really well. Um, what, she'll be okay. what, 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 what's she studying at Winchester? Uh, she's doing child psychology, I believe. So like oh, mental geez. health and all that sort of thing. Uh, I think she wants oh, to nice. be all the nice. proper psychologist, so she can sort us all out from our pain of uh, when we inevitably like, well. get relegated. Yeah, so. yeah. When we get relegated, <laughs> uh, we might have to draft her in. To nah, we're not getting relegated, that's for sure. We're too good at <laughs> oh, football, mate. so there's no we're chance actually, to get relegated. We're actually smashing it. Um, and Ben, of course, you 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 were there at the game. Mm. I was like, uh, obviously, we'll talk oh. about it a bit more. But oh. limbs, just was the fact that it was such limbs, just because it was like such a kind of like. Dead, well, not dead, yeah, it was pretty much a dead game, and then just nicking it at the end, like we don't do that. Yeah. And here's a big thing, here's a, here's a big stat that was the first live Brighton of Albion goal I've seen since November 2019 when we beat Norwich 2 0. Like, I'm, I'm such a curse whenever I go to the games, it's horrendous. Really? Yeah. Wow, that you are. Do you want to like not go to Leicester or something? Like, <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> um, yeah, like the last away game we went to was Wolves away when Alexis's debut, and oh, yeah, um, that was yeah. that was nil nil. Um, that was the yeah, last was, one before lockdown, honestly, wasn't it? The limbs. It was so weird. It hit like eighty minutes, and for some reason, even though the game kind of said it wasn't going to happen, I was just like in my head, I was mm. like, I feel like we're going to score here, and mm. we did, and it was insane. I mean, we Someone overperformed our XG by a fair oh, bit, yeah. wasn't it? It was like zero point zero nine or zero point zero nine, zero point nineteen, which is <laughs> which is crazy. And then obviously yeah. Bloom was in the stadium; he was like ten rows ahead. That and I must so say, good. everyone was fuming because they weren't serving beer in the away end. But I went up to Tony Bloom because he was sitting like right in front of the stairs. So every time, every time someone walked up, he was literally right there in front of you. So I went up to him and was like, Tony, when the Brent- Brentford fans come down to the Amex, don't serve a beer. And he just laughed. But I'll take it as a day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was so was, good. That was basically a polite laugh to be like, right, go away now. I'm yeah, to leave me alone. Was, mate, God's honestly, yeah, yeah, having yeah. him in the stand, it was so good. And like singing the, the, the songs to him, like you could see him like laughing and smiling. Mm. No, that, that, as well, so that's great. class that's literally class like, when I saw that I was like that's just amazing like uh, you might as well talk about it now like w- where else do you see maybe apart from maybe one or two clubs in the Premier League would you ever see their chairman in the yeah, away end no. with the fans Definitely like I, 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 could, I couldn't name one Premier League team that has a chairman of that kind of maybe Leicester maybe is the closest to that yeah he would, would be able to like yeah. yeah like in terms of you know having that connection with fans I don't yeah. I can't really think of many others not um, many. yeah there's not many no, in the Premier where's League where's that just... 5% that what didn't want him as the chairman or that weren't happy with him as being the yeah. chairman do you remember that stat a few years ago oh yeah it was like Shocking. Leicester first and us second like where's that 5% now oh mate the amount mm. the amount like the, the, the impact Tony Bloom's had since coming in is just like incredible and and, and the, the good job he's doing now just by looking at let's say like the Ben White sale keeping Basuma you know a lot of chairmen would have would have crumbled or, or you know given in to you know the money or whatever it might have been whereas he's stood firm I know he's obviously a poker player so he knows he knows how to play the game <laughs> which is obviously very very useful in in this line of business so um, yeah I, 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 Bloom, I literally um, hats off to him didn't Bloom do this at Brentford away the year we got promoted as well I swear he was in the away end as well yeah, then. No, yeah, he was. It, um, it's because it, he has beef with yeah I was just about to like, say yeah, he he's like got the beef guy. with the chairman hasn't he yeah because yeah. 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 they're ben, both gamblers or something something like, yeah. something yeah. like that yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Probably so funny. someone Dr- got shot from that. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Do, 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 reckon, do, reckon, do you reckon that's why? Do you reckon that's why he um, didn't serve beer? Do you reckon that's why he's done it? No, I, think, I, I, just, I just don't think they do. Full stop. Like, uh, like, okay. them, them and Watford, Watford don't serve it to the away fans either. Really? Which, that's really weird. Because in, the, yeah. in their old stadium, they had pubs on every corner, which away and home fans yeah. can go in. And now all of a sudden they're not selling him to away fans. I don't that's see weird. the logic. The poor, the right. poor girls behind like the uh, kiosk and stuff. 
every person would go up and be like, I'll have five peronies, please, love. And they'd be like, literally not even like laughing at it about that point. They're just <laughs> looking at them like, what do you want? And confectionery. Yeah. So £1.50 for confe- confectionery. I was thinking Starburst, like you get at the Amex. But no, it was a pack of oven baked, ready salted crisps or a Twix. And then for <laughs> the only hot food they were doing were oven like baked. these hot dogs <laughs> or the chicken burgers. And, like, and then it was water or Coke Zero. It was oh. abysmal. But that, that made the, that made the win. So All that money on a new stadium just for it to have no food, no beer, and only have 17,000 yeah. capacity. Ready sorted I mean, or a poor, fucking Twix, it? you dumb. Yeah. <laughs> if, if, if you want some, I'll give it to you. You've got no fans, you've got no ground. <laughs> you've got no, you've got no drink, you've got no food. What's the point? <laughs> yeah. What have we come here for? Yeah, <laughs> literally. Literally. Trossard scored, though. He saved that. Oh, saved mate, that yeah. Right so, so, I mean, look, let, let, let's uh, let's get into the, sort of the match analysis then. And, uh, of course, Ben, you're, you're probably the best person to talk us through it. But, I mean, it was a pretty drab... Uh, well, first half, not much, like you said, not much went on. But what, what, you know, what was the general you, consensus with the fans? First half, you'd probably say Brentford edged it, really. We had one really good chance from Danny Welbeck through on goal. A lot of fans mm. saying they should have done better. I yeah. think he could have, and if you put it a bit higher, that could have gone over Ryan, probably got in. But um, I think... He did trip over his own feet with that, didn't he? Seems yeah, he did kind of, of fall over and bit. shoot. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I think Brentford probably edged it. Like, and Buemo had like three really, really good chances, maybe four. Yeah, uh, and then I, Ivan Tony right. tried chipping Sanchez oh. as well, didn't he? From like yeah. honestly, my heart thirty that yards. Way it, <laughs> we all, we, everyone was looking around like, oh my god. Yeah, yeah imagine if it that was, went in. Oh my was, god. Oh, Steve Sidwell. Well, but Sanchez looked so calm, didn't he? He was just like, yeah, just put his yeah. arm up as if. Oh, sometimes he's scarily calm. Like I can't, <laughs> yeah. I can't get how calm he is sometimes. Like, do you remember? I think it was against them. Um, whoever the last home game was was it Everton. And yeah. like he took a touch and then just passed it so casually. I was like, oh my God, what are you that's, doing? Like, it was so close. That is the thing with Sanchez, isn't it? Like you said, like sometimes he's a bit too casual. And it's yeah. a bit like, <laughs> it, as a fan, you're a bit like, oh God. Like, what, well, obviously he knows do? what he's doing. But it's a bit yeah. like, oh my God, mate. You're he reminds me a lot of like, Edison, the way he just like looks so chilled on the ball. We're just like yeah. kind of spraying it about and just, yeah, he yeah. looks very, very calm. Yeah, no, definitely. Mm, and and you talk about the Embuemo chances as well. Like you oh, said, he, yeah. he had a few, like one of them where he crossed in and he skied it. Uh, I'm trying to think of the other opportunities. Oh, yeah. Defending from them. Duffy, though. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, that was that was in the second half, I think. I th- yeah, that mm. was in the second half. That was really good. But no, like, the Lana hat was a bit shaky. Um, and then one of the Embuemo chances, like, he was dispossessed, like, bullied off the ball, and then, like, they went through. And that's when, yeah. he, again, he skied it over the bar again. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, look, uh, it, it basically helped us a lot by the fact that Brentford weren't really on it in terms of finishing. And no. I, I think, I think what, what, by the fact, I don't think, it, how many goals did he score? I think he scored one goal so far this season. I think Ivan Tony against um, Villa, I think it was. Oh, no, then so, also, wasn't it? And, um, yeah, oh, and also, sorry, sorry, yeah, in the yeah, first day, yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah. That's it, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So, no, I mean, they, okay, they haven't, they're not as bad, but, I mean, in terms of, in front of goal, they're not maybe as prolific as they want want to be, and I suppose if yeah. they were, they could have really punished us in that first half, because like you said, they had two or three really good chances to, you know, put the ball in the back I of the net. I think they just struck me as everything that I'd expect, like, a newly promoted side to be, like, they're just really hard mm. to play against, and, yeah. you yeah, know, they they're, were. they're always going to be up for everything, and, you know, they look like it, and they did give us some problems first half, but obviously, yeah. And longer it goes on in the Premier League, you're, you're going to get punished eventually. And luckily, we're in that position now where we're like, OK, we are that Premier League side that can punish you. Whereas, you know, remember back in when we first got promoted, it was like, you know, one mistake and you're done. And sort yeah. of like that's a bit like what they, they were in they that learnt, Yeah, they just learned that from Brighton, which is, you normally lose <laughs> nice, learn that it? from a bigger team. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I've got to give Brentford, like Brentford's defence were decent. Like they were forcing mm. us to constantly pass it. From side to side, not really. Yeah, we didn't really have many. We didn't have any clear. No, chances, really didn't really. have many. Apart from mm-hmm. Welbeck and Mope, had one shot from outside the box. Alexis had a yeah. shot that went out for a corner. Apart mm-hmm. from that, then it was just Trossard's and, unbelievable and, finish. And also, mm-hmm. well, we, we spoke about it on the on the preview. Do you remember, we talked about uh, Ayer at centre half. Um, did he? Mm-hmm. Did he? Did he? Uh, what, what? What you thought thought of his performance? I don't know. Did he play? I'm just checking now. I can't remember uh, if in particular he stood Yeah, he played, yeah, right, right centre-back, um, uh, along with Janssen and Pinnock. Janssen, yeah. No, they were good. Those three really did work well. And I, th- mm. I, maybe, I think they were a back five, actually. And then they had, maybe, was it like Canos right wing-back, maybe? Yeah, I, I think you're right. Rico Henry left wing-back. He was good, Rico Henry. Because I know we've spoken mm. about him like the past year doing this podcast. That's like a potential yeah, yeah, yeah. left-back for Cucurella. But um, mm. on, on, on Cucurella, mm. I was pretty impressed with him. He had one mistake where it led to <laughs> Buemo, actually. Uh, skying over the bar again but mm. other than that he did look cool he looked like mm. a decent little player and I like to link up and down the left um, yeah. he's definitely got a bit about him you can kind of see that that uh, quality that he's 
maybe picked up at Barca in the younger years. Mm. He has looked promising. And Getafe as well, you know, he's, he's played yeah. decent sides in Spain. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, he'd have been playing against all the big sides over there. So he's he's mm. going to come with a bit of a reputation. And he's good at and Spain he, as well, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Yeah. But he looks, yeah. he's so small. I, for some reason, that big yeah, hair makes him think he's going to be really too. tall. Yeah, yeah, exactly. In well, talk, talk talk about recovery. Obviously, um, Webster went off injured, didn't he? Uh, oh, yeah, which, good, I mean, yeah, I think, yeah, think, fingers mm. crossed, he, he's all good. Uh, but obviously, Jakob Moda came on, and of course, Moda, um, you know, he, he was unbelievable against England <laughs> midweeks. Mm. Obviously, he came on full of confidence as well. Um, do we know? Do we know the extent of Webster's injury, or is it still? It looked like a hamstring. I don't know. Brian might know a bit more, but. I think I, I can imagine maybe I think, maybe probably I think I saw that he's out till like yeah a couple of weeks isn't he a few weeks yeah because I saw um, I, I saw him when he was when he was down he's holding his hamstring wasn't he so I'm assuming yeah. it's, it's a, it's a my HP source said something hang on <laughs> maybe maybe um, we might see Hayden Roberts play in the next couple go. Of week or he so. said Webster is yeah. annoying out yeah. till after the Palace game he could potentially be back oh, for it, but after the club Palace don't want to risk injuring him at the moment but it all oh. depends on how he recovers this week so basically that's, it looks yeah. like we could be without Webster for a bit how and that's funny what's was that? frustrating about Webster he seems yeah. to get injured yeah. a fair amount doesn't he yeah. how funny was that yeah. WWE video of like a Kurt Angle smashing against McMahon with the frying pan and beating his leg like <laughs> Literally, that, but the thing is, so my good. my only worry is now that Webster's out for you know a couple of weeks, or whatever. With our with with a track record of our medical team, <laughs> he's probably going to be out for the rest of the season or something like that. So I mean, I'm not. Uh, hopefully, he recovers well and there's no like further complications. Because yeah, I think he's key. He's key to that back line. I think he's just so good at what oh, he yeah. does, and he's he's so underrated. In, you know, in terms of pre- when you compare him to other Premier League defenders, I just feel like he is he is up there with definitely outside the top six. I think he's definitely up there with one of the you know the best best defenders in the league um, mm. on his day anyway you know he's prone to you know little mistakes little momentary lapses of concentration you know he's got his moments of course but mm. I, th- I think outside the top six he's, he's a solid defender to have yeah, really, um, really good. And I, I must going... say Shane Duffy was good again he was good yeah, yeah. We put, don't forget we were playing against a championship team from last year they were they were balls into the box and then Duncan Duffy and Duffy especially was just constantly mm. heading him out booting him out whenever he could yeah. which is sometimes it's nice to see instead of like trying to bring it down under pressure and yeah, pass it out sometimes we do just I need that too. person to just yeah we just, just do need it. that Duffy just to yeah, get it yeah, out yeah. for a throw it's quite refreshing in a weird way because this, is, this yeah. is literally what I said like I think it was even yesterday I said it's really refreshing to see someone that's not like so technical you know like Ben White Webster are quite technical whereas Duffy mm. just he's just so old fashioned but it's just quite nice to see like someone just getting completely crunched is equally as nice yeah. as seeing like an 80 yard pass so yeah I, well, I love seeing Duffy back and it keeps the opposition opposition guessing as well so sometimes they yeah. might think we are just going to play out the back but if you see Duffy mm. who fit out <laughs> well, well the thing is I think it's a beautiful mix because you've got Webster and mm. Dunkey who, who's really good with their feet and then you've got Duffy who can yeah like, like we said it's cleared it so it's a lovely mix of the two I think it's it's a great combination, but then obviously, what when let's say Roberts comes in, is he what kind of? I'll be honest, I've not seen much of him. Is he more of a, a Duffy or is he more of a Dunk? Like what? He's what quite kind small, of, isn't he? So he's probably he's, he's probably yeah. more of a Ben he's White. Not, yeah, he's not the tallest. Yeah, Ben White. Yeah, okay, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ben White. So that'll be, that'll be interesting. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see who comes in. You know, does does he play Veltman in and does he start Lamptey? Like, does he put Veltman at centre half, start Lamptey, or is it too soon for Lamptey? Probably too soon see... for Lamptey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it'll be interesting is to see then... what he does though. Is Hayden Roberts left footed? For some reason, I feel like he is. Yeah, he I is. I feel like he yeah. is. Yeah, that's yeah. quite sexy. That's quite sexy. <laughs> he's only eighteen. Isn't he? He's like he's literally like a couple of years younger than me. I'm pretty sure because yeah, I th- I'm I pretty sure he went to like, young. some school that some someone knows him. That I know. I'm so didn't, sure. didn't he go to Oak Park? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's nine. He's nineteen. Yeah, yeah I know that he's a couple of years nice. below me. Yeah, but yeah. I, I know his. I know his sister. I th- I'm pretty sure she went to um, Oak Park. It? But I'm just yeah. I'm, drop I'm just drop her at. <laughs> right. Anyway, moving swiftly, moving on. Um, also, just just quickly on on the uh, subject of Duffy, um, we I actually was speaking to a good friend of his on on the weekend, um, oh, yeah. and I, he he told me some like mad story, like as in like I I, I won't go into it just because I don't know how like you know sensitive it is or like what you know what he wants to be told basically. But hopefully, fingers crossed, and no, no promises, we'll try and get him on the podcast. Yeah, uh, yeah like I said, like, I spoke to him. Could uh, you imagine? At, at length or, or on the weekend and he said that he said basically he would love to he'd love him to come on uh, and tell his story essentially so yeah fingers crossed if we can get that sorted that'll be come on Duff man that'll be a big big that'll be unreal it'll be levels at that point we'll be oh, like mate, yeah confirmed be... goats at that point yeah, yeah, and then, that way we've got in with like a, that'll be our first like current player that'll be our first so yeah. he might say look, boys, yeah it is isn't it these lads are alright 
Fingers yeah. crossed that it does happen, but yeah. Yeah, we just scare him off. Or Aaron Connolly will be like, oh, not them, lads. They're fucking yeah. wankers. <laughs> <laughs> he probably knows as well. He's probably like, doing oh, just God's chat sake. shit about me every single fucking week. <laughs> yeah. Ben's probably going to just Aaron. watch the BB, doesn't he? Yeah, we do love you, Aaron. Yeah, we love everyone. We love everyone. We love everyone. Yeah. Um, um, so there, yeah, the second half then, uh, just going into the second half, it, it, would you say that the shift changed in terms of, you know, dominance for Brighton or, or would you say it was still pretty much the same as the first half? Slightly. I don't know, don't know about you, Rob, I'll say probably being really specific, I would say after the 65th minute is when we kind of started putting pressure on them. I think Thomas, yeah. I called him Thomas Frankie last week, but Thomas Frank, Frankie. Yeah, Thomas Frank, um, he, he agreed. He was like, yeah, after 65 minutes, like Brian came He agreed. Oh, so, so you speak to him after the game. You say, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You're poor, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I, was, I, I listened to his, um, his uh, post-match interview. He said, he said like, like he, yeah, he agreed with me when I was chatting to him, yeah. Uh, <laughs> with Tony. He joined the chat Tony. I was like, listen, Frankie, I'm uh-huh. talking to Tony here, mate. Put down. Yeah. Um, and yeah, no, yeah, he said probably sixty fifth minute. But Ryan, do you? Do you yeah, no, questions? mate, I agree. Yeah, we, we were good. Like, I think, um, yeah, a good finish from Trossard. It was nice to see Alexis McAllister oh, to get on the assist as well. What? Because like, the build up was a joke. The build up, yeah, was so it was sick. so nice. Like, I was just like, oh, I really saw because when I saw Alexis come on, I was like, I really hope he does something because mm. I feel like this year's the year where we get to see him have a bit of a breakout, you know? Like, he's had a couple of years on low and then come back and was like, you know, you could see his quality. But now I think that, you know, I think he hasn't had a bad game this year yet, in my opinion. And he's obviously, every time he's come on, he's had an impact. And now he's got another assist to his name. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing more Alexis, I've got to be honest. Mm-hmm. Having a proper, like, a good player in the number 10, I don't know what it is, it just feels so nice. It's like a bit of, like, mm-hmm. a, a thing for me, seeing a player wearing the number 10 being good. But, yeah. I don't know, <laughs> Being Lex good, McAllister. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean, though? And then, obviously, uh, Jakob Moda as well, linking up that yeah. uh, bit of you play. Know what, you know, that goal reminded me so much of the build-up uh, for the Arsenal goal when, obviously, Mopé's last minute, wasn't it? Because it was from a throw-in, like, proper to Alexis. It was like a give-and-go mm. again. And it was like, Moda was like, kind of on the floor when he passed it back to Alexis. It just reminded me so much of that yeah. when Alexis then passes it, Aaron, Aaron flips it over. The, f- but, the finish, yeah. though, the finish from Trossard was, very was, oh. was... Oh, man. Yeah. Mate, right. well, if Trossard can do that more often, we would be mm. like, we would have a proper good player on our hands. If he can get, you know, a bit more consistency in front of goal, add a few more goals and assists to his name, because he's clearly got the quality. We all know he has. Mm. You know, on his day, he is really good. He's got a bit of yeah. skill about him. He's quite you, you, clear. Don't, you don't get in the Belgium team for being bang average. No, yeah. Yeah. exactly. And he was like, wearing number seven as well, which, you know, I love my kit numbers over the, over the international break, which may be great. Yeah. Um, maybe oh, yeah, he was. Um, yeah, man. Quick question. We were speaking about this on Saturday. I can't remember if it was before the match or after the match. And we're talking about how much would Trossard be? I think it was before the match. So after him scoring that last minute win, it would probably be another few million. But how much would you be willing to sell Trossard for? Because I know over the summer, like there was one week with West Ham, but I think it's probably bullshit. You two, yeah, answer that. Well, how much would you? Well, be you to go sell first. Trossard I've got my answer, Ryan, but you go first, mate. I'll probably say like 30, 35 mil. But then I don't know. What? At the same time, I wouldn't want to see him go. You know, like Jesus. Would, mm. would you say you would sell him for less than that then? Because yeah, I think I said like you 20, 25. Really? really? I, 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 I'm right. I, I, I was about 25. to say 30 million, simply because he's 26, he's a current Belgium international, and like he is, you know, he, he's playing pretty well at the moment. So I think. On his day, like, he's a good player, you know? Like, you, think, you, you, you yeah. want to get rid of someone of his quality, you know, for I, I a think, cheap I, price. I think in the current climate, I think you could easily get 25, 30 million for him. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I reckon yeah. so. I mean, you yeah. see like Ivan Tony was labelled 40 mil from the championship and obviously he's yeah. a good player, but you know, he's in the championship at the time and he's 25. So I think with Trossard, he's, he's had what, three seasons in the Prem now? It's third season in the Premier League, isn't it? Mm. So, yeah. you know, he's getting more experience in the top level. He's obviously now in the Belgium squad. They see something in him over there. We see something in him over here. I don't see any reason why he shouldn't be, you know, labelled a bit more than that. Did you hear um, Ian Wright's, like, I think Gary Lineker made a decent joke to Ian Wright on Match of the Day. He was like, he just need, he said about Trossard, he's like, needs to get more consistent. He was like, you know, his first season he scored five goals, his second ski- season he yeah, scored five goals. And Gary Lineker was like, isn't that consistent? <laughs> he's yeah. like, obviously, obviously, <laughs> he's <laughs> consistently yeah. mediocre. Yeah. Yeah, 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 consistently average. Yeah. Um, no, nah, but no, no, I think, yeah, I think that's a fair, like I said, in the current market, I think 25, 30 million, you should really, like, I think if you went for anything less than that, you'd be so. a bit, you'd be a bit taken aback, yeah. I think, for, for, a, for a Belgium international to get anything less than that I'm a bit like mm. I mean we bought him for what like 15 so if we let yeah. him go for anything 
you know, less. just over that. If we didn't get at least yeah. like 10 mil profit, I'd be really disappointed, I've yeah. got to be honest. But I wouldn't sell him anyway because obviously he's on good form at the minute. And I like him, you know, on his day, I like him a lot. And I remember I always go back to that one game against West Ham at the beginning when we first signed him. And you could just tell he was just different class that we were yeah. used to. Mm. I remember that so, game, yeah. Yeah, he was just like the touches he was doing, the little bits of skill. Um, mm. Obviously, he scored two goals. One of them got disallowed. But yeah, yeah like you can see his quality. Yeah. It's just... Um, Getting to see another him thing, hopefully we do. Yeah. Another thing that will lead us on to Lucardi quite nicely, but um, another thing we're talking about also about Saturday is like I feel like Potter hasn't bought in another strike or doesn't really care about it because he's probably thinking Trossard is almost that other striker that yeah. he can play alongside Neil Mope. And also, quick before we get to Lucardi, I thought Neil Mope was brilliant, really, really held up the ball well. Well, what else did I say? Uh, Basuma, yeah, he bossed at that midfield. Basuma, Basuma. <laughs> oh my God, Basuma was so good. It was, yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. And yeah, Lallana was a bit better in the second half. Okay, yes, mm. move on to Lacardia because obviously mm. people be, yeah. people have messaged us saying that we need to talk about him because he is in the squad now. Well, are we uh, happy? I think I think and I said. Are we? <laughs> do we think it's promising? I, 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 do you know what? I messaged someone. I, I won't. Um, <laughs> Jurgen Lacardia has got more Instagram uh, posts than he has Brighton and Hove Albion appearances. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like in the last week, he's, he's been had about. Loads. He's been very active on Instagram, uh, which is surely that's more enough. goals than he's got for Brighton. <laughs> <Yeah. clearing. laughs> uh, but no, look, look. All joking aside, like I would love for him to come and score, you know, 10, 15 goals. Like you know, I would love it. I'm just being, I'm just being realistic. I'm just being realistic. I think if he hit, like, even if he hit five goals, I'd be like, okay, that's great I'd be surprised. <laughs> but, yeah 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 but i just don't think yeah I, I just don't i don't know how realistic it is for him to come in and to hit the ground running i'll just uh, unfortunately just from what i've seen in the past with him and his attitude and all that kind of stuff it's like is he changed has he changed like h- how do we know he's changed you know like you've you got to prove it on the pitch and I, I, fair enough he hasn't been given the opportunities as of yet but i just i don't know i i just go into it not that much full of confidence i don't know what you boys think i mean the thing is he has had opportunities elsewhere i mean he was on mm. loan at the mls and did manage to score since goals. FC or whatever. Um, actually fc yeah Cincinnati, isn't it? i'm pretty sure he missed <laughs> more open goals than he actually did score so i don't know i just don't know what people all of a sudden think of him like oh okay we're gonna bring in a player that we had three years ago and internet's gonna be better than what he was three years ago when he wasn't even good three years ago i just don't understand yeah the logic. There, it's a bit like me, the no Andone stuff, isn't it? Everyone's saying that how, yeah. why is everyone getting gassed about Andone coming back when, yeah. and it is weird they that Andone's no been shipped out again, but Lacardi has now been given this chance. It is to maybe, mm. I guess I can, the only thing I can see is Potter probably sees a different dynamic with Lacardi because he's a bit well, bigger and a bit more of a poacher. Or, <laughs> yeah, or find that, anyone to take or it. a bit more of a beast in, in the striker, whereas Andona, you could say, is probably quite a similar build to Neil and Trossard and all that stuff. And he does, yeah, yeah I think he does offer well, a little bit different. I, I was reading I was reading an article, actually, uh, Sussex Live, and shout out to Richie Mills, who wrote the article. Um, he, he basically wrote an article about um, how Graham Potter basically said that what, since he's come back from FC Cincinnati, apparently he's been a different player. Uh, and he said that, I'll, I'll quote it as well, because I've got the article up here. He came back from Cincinnati with almost excitement to be here in terms of seeing an opportunity. When the transfer window uh, was open, there were set speculations, all sorts of things behind the scenes. But n- now that it's closed, you can put a bit of stability down. I think he's grown from experience he's had. It wasn't probably as good as he'd like in some ways, but in other ways he enjoyed it and got a lot of positives from it. So yeah, he's just apparently now saying that he's come back a different man. Yeah, but there's uh, no talk yeah. about whether he's actually improved as a player. It's just saying he feels better yeah. about himself. No, like, it's not well, saying you, like, you oh would yeah, be he's come back. from the MLS to the Premier League. <laughs> you would feel yeah, miles like, better. <laughs> you, you've played against, you know, Seattle Sounders rather than like, you know, <laughs> someone that's actually <laughs> decent. So You've played against you a team that carved the tree every time you score a goal. That's... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So what's the? What are we getting sight for? I, I don't get it personally. That's I mean, so funny. Uh, look, okay, I joke. I hope he comes back and he does really well. But on a realistic yeah. perspective, it, it's not really going to happen, is it? And I, I yeah. hope I'm wrong. I really, really no, hope same, I'm wrong. Same. Like, I, but, I genuinely any Brian player, like whether it's Aaron Connolly, whether it's Jurgen Lacadia, whoever it might be, I want them all to succeed and do well. Like mm. they're all part of the club. We all want them to do well. Agreed. It's just, 100%. it's just. But at the same time, we've got to be we're realists as well, right? As fans, yeah. We have a bit. We, you know, we've got to be realistic and just be like from from past. 
you know, past events, and we can only base it on past events because that's all we've seen. Like, he hasn't made an impression elsewhere, so why would it be any different in a higher, better quality league than, let's say, an MLS <laughs> or, you know, uh, uh, other loan spells that he's it's had? Like, and also, it's like, well, you know, having a player on loan at League One doesn't do well there, and you think he's going to come yeah. back to the Premier League and be better. I just don't exactly. get it. Exactly. Whereas, really for example, like Richards, when Richards went to Doncaster, absolutely killed it. He did and really he saw, well, you know, exactly. exactly. Yeah. And so, he's, so he's proving himself, like, actually, look, I can make this step up. Um, hmm. You know, all that kind of stuff. And then finally, from Potter, on that interview, he said, um, look, is only 27. I spoke with him on Thursday, and he's approaching the peak of his career, which is quite ex- exciting. <laughs> he can take inspiration from Shane Duffy, of course, because anything is possible. And to be fair... That is true. That, 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 is, is that, true. that, that, bit, that bit is true, to be fair. Like, if Shane Duffy's come back from, you know, his horrible loan spell itself, Celtic, why can't he? Yeah, do it? fair, it, fair uh, point. Fair point. That's yeah. what Adam I mean, McDonald said, didn't he? In the lot on our last podcast when we had Adam McDonald on, he was saying like Aaron Connolly. Why can't he take some inspiration from Shane Duffy about yeah. that redemption side of it? Look how mm. bad the season he had and the year he had, personal on and off the pitch, come back and absolutely smash in the Premier League. So like, why the can't Connolly um, or McCarty do it? Yeah, the decisions behind the Connolly one, I don't get because you know, like with Alzate, we'd loan him to like Swindon, we'd loan him out to Leighton Orient, and then. With Ben White, we'd loan him to Newport, we'd loan him to, you know, etc. Whereas, yeah. yeah, and then another club he went on loan to, I can't remember who it was. I know it's Peterborough and Newport, I don't remember the other mm. one. But, like, I just know that we, <laughs> I just know that we loan these players out. And then when it comes to Connolly, it was like, you know, let's just chuck him in the deep end, give him number seven, give him 30 grand mm. a week, whatever it is. And then it's like, it just adds unnecessary pressure to him, too. So, yeah. with Lucardia, I don't know what to expect, to be honest. I don't really have any expectations apart from if he scores, that's a bit of a miracle. <laughs> to be honest mm. but at the same time he could be like one of those little clutch players you know like the ones against um, Millwall or if we're looking back in 2019 when he did save us out of the dead when, yeah uh, you know that's if, the only goal I think situation, well I think that uh, he could Arsenal, do that no, point, Arsenal, Arsenal, I mean, remember. Swansea, no I mean that could suit Swansea, our play because like yeah scored in his debut Swansea, Swansea. Scored, yeah, yeah Swansea, that's what yeah. I mean like that one kind of two touch finish inside the box with loads of players around we get those opportunities quite a lot I feel like he could, well, he's shown it that he could do it against Millwall when the pressure was on. I know it's Millwall, but... It's, but it's against <laughs> Millwall, Millwall final. isn't it? That's, yeah. that's, that's the trouble. Final, all the pressure was on and he still scored a decent goal. Basically, I mean, we're looking at uh, Millwall, we're sort of looking at Swansea, we're looking at... Arsenal when he took it around. Arsenal, Everton one was offside if it actually yeah. hit a Brighton player. So, mm-hmm. yeah... yeah. I, I, I think I think the bottom line is the bottom line is he's got a great opportunity now because obviously we've only got what two two strikers three like yeah two recognised strikers throw well if you include Aaron Connolly three um you know yeah. and he's got a real opportunity here to really like you know get in like you know try and make it for the for the starting lineup and actually make an impact so it's all it's basically it's down to him it's in his hands he's got the opportunity 100%. and he's got to make the most of it and it's, it's down to him ultimately so yeah we'll see we'll see what happens I mean wasn't I'm, it Potter said about him he said that um. You know he's got he's got it about him. It's just whether he wants to do yeah. it himself. It's a bit like you know it's in the head sort of thing. If you haven't got it in your head, then oh. you're not going to do very well. It's a bit like the another, Arsene Wenger thing all the way back in the day. <laughs> another thing he said that people were taking a piss out as Potter goes. He was like, um, you know, Lacardia, he's got uh, what he brings. <laughs> and everyone was yeah. like, what has he got? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a bit. <laughs> that was so funny. That was yeah, so good. So... That was a bit. Like, you know. Got a classic. <laughs> He's got yeah. what he brings. Yeah. Yeah, cheers, Graham. Yeah. Do you want to let us know yeah, what that got... is? Or... <laughs> well, do you not know yet either? He's yeah, got yeah, his yeah. skin fade and some tattoos. And... Yeah, he's got some... <laughs> he's re- Make some he's music. Really good on... He's really good on Instagram. Um, yes, yeah. Instagram has got great aesthetic. Fair, his feed's beautiful. To be fair, a big shout out to Ted Lownia if you're, Ted if Lownia, you're listening, yeah. mate. Mate, to be fair, your content is sick. But I just, yeah. I'd quite like to see him do that on the pitch <laughs> rather than off the yeah. pitch, if that's all right. Mm. Uh, that, that'd be good. Yeah, that was uh, sick, no, though. God knows how Ted Link got that link with Nicardia. Sick, though. Yeah, sick. Mm. Right, boys. Um, let's get in, let, let's yeah go into Leicester preview, I suppose, because uh, we've pretty much covered the whole game. Um, so Leicester. Mm. I mean, look, Leicester are a great, great team. They they have been for the last what four, three, four years Five, now. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They, they, you know, they're always a tough opponent. They've always beat it. Like, you know, they've always done well against us as well, which is frustrating. Um, I remember was it last season? Was it when they beat us? Uh, was it, what was the score last season? Uh, we, oh, Ian Acho, do you remember? At the Amex. Oh, oh pain. Mate, yeah, when he scored no, last season. That was, that that was was Marte, wasn't one. it? Amarty. Was oh, was it Amarty? Or was it Ian Acho? Amarty, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, oh, Marta, sorry. yeah. Marta, Nacho scored it? the first. So Nacho scored uh, the first and then Amato scored last minute. Yeah, that was it. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, that's that was, we lost like 3-0 twice against them. That was out of racism for me, so I apologise for that. Lost against 
Yeah, lost three um, one against didn't we against them like twice? Yeah, won the yeah, other yeah, couple. Yeah, of yeah. So yeah. historically, they've not been our favourite opponents. But no, I mean, no. we go into the game what three wins out of four, only loss against Everton. We sit fifth in the table. I mean, we go into it. And another thing confidence. on top of that, they've got Europa League on uh, or Europa Conference League, one of them. But Europe, yeah, oh. Europa League on Thursday. Oh, um, there's tin pot leagues. <laughs> bit of tired, bit of tired legs, maybe for Sunday. You never know. Hopefully, yeah. could, Hopefully. could play in our favour. I mean, it'll be a tough game. I don't know who they've got. It'll be a very tough game. Um, yeah. I'm I'm looking forward to it to go there. But I don't know if I'm looking forward to it in terms of the game because we all know what Leicester are like, as you say. They've got some great players. You know, Jamie Vardy, James Madison always rip us apart. Go on, Ben. You're looking at me like you want to say something. Well, I was going to say they're playing Europa League. You think they're going to play some? I was going to say Gladbach, but that's actually a decent team. Some like. Uchtrek from the Norwegian second division or something, but they're actually playing against Napoli, so that would be a Ooh. pretty big, yeah, pretty big game for them. They should play some decent players against them. You yeah. think? Yeah, you think? Yeah. Um, so yes. Yeah. Also, also, as well, just talking historically, this is a, this is a mad fact. This I've literally just seen it head to head. The last time we beat Leicester was back in 2014. Uh, wow. And that was that's uh, a four-one. Away. Let me guess. Four, four-one. It was four-one. Oh, yes. Yeah. Anyway, Lingo, and, knowledge. And, yeah, Lingard. Anyone else for Ajoa, anyone Ajoa. 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 Yeah. Stephen Ward. Uh, yes, very good. Yeah, very Stephen good. Ward. Yeah, Stephen Ward, uh, Lingard, Lingard, and, and then two, and then two from Ajoa. Yeah, and then uh, mm. Gary Taylor Fletcher, Blackpool legend, uh, scored for Leicester. Oh, yeah. uh, in, the, in the 89th minute. Uh, so yeah, you just boys, brought back so many childhood memories right there. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I know. Yeah, 20, 2014. We haven't beaten them since. So that's pretty mad. Yeah. Like we've 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 lost or drawn every single game since 2014. Sick. So since we've been in the Premier League, we've not beaten them once, <laughs> which is a uh, not a good omen. Um, Great, but you know, <laughs> so rewrite some history. Then time for yeah, a change. Exactly. 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 Time for a change. Um, so yeah, who, obviously as we do every week, who are, I know it goes without saying really with Leicester, but who are the main mm. threats? And we'll start with you, Ben. Who who are the main you know threats going going forward and at the back? I suppose. Well, doing my extensive research on match of the day, <clears throat> uh, Alan, she- <laughs> Alan Shearer was kind of picking out Jamie Vardy and saying that he's kind of adapted his role. I think it's Alan Shearer anyway. Adapted his role from, rather than just being that finisher because he's getting a bit on now. He's almost becoming like a bit of an assister as well, like adding assist to his mm. game. So I feel like. Maybe Kalechi Inacho, if he starts, is probably maybe more threatening, you could say, than Jamie Vardy. Um, bold one. Yeah, bold one. Yeah, bold. And it, you know, like, bold. He, he done it against us at the Amex last season, you know, and that was a pretty decent finish. Sent Dunkey to the cleaners when he was doing that slide. Um, yeah. I'll probably say Inacho, Harvey Barnes. I've always loved Harvey Barnes. I think he'll be yeah. really, really good as well. Mm. Yeah, right. that's nice. Good shout, good shout. They've got right. um, Adimola Lookman as well now, haven't they? They signed him. Yeah, so he could be yeah, one to look right, out for. Yeah. You know, he's, he's quite a tricky player. Uh, oh, yeah. James Madison. Um, they signed Yannick Vestergaard as well. They've got a good side, a very, oh, God, very yeah. good side. He scored against so, us last season as well, didn't he? Yeah, he <laughs> did, didn't he? Um, so, we're, yeah, they're going to be tough, I've got to be honest. Yeah. Um, and they're what? And but if we're on our game, like, like, we well, can... So. Yeah, but like my my thinking, right, is um, obviously we're going to have Webster out, definitely. Mm. Um, uh, if we went to a flat back four, do we just see like a bit of an old school Brighton and just have the Duncan Duffy partnership of maybe <laughs> yeah. stopping Dunkey, like going a bit, you know, expansive mm. and just headering and clearing it with Duffy? And then you can't really push Kukurea and um, Veltman probably too high because then otherwise you'd be a bit exposed. So I don't know how that's going to work. Say, yet. I, can't, I wouldn't be surprised if it's like Yaka Moda left oh. back. Duffy, Dunk, and then... To be fair, Moda's a very good left-back. I quite like him there, but but then I'd miss Kukurea a lot. Yeah, Yeah, same. Also, as well, boys, Mm. let's not forget as well, remember James Justin absolutely tore down Burn apart last season. But luckily... Oh, uh, no, not luckily, because I I wasn't wishing injury, but he's out... (laughs) He's out injured. He's out injured. So we don't have to worry about him tearing Dan Byrne up again. Which you know, no offense to Dan Byrne, but like it's it's nice that we've got better depth in that left yeah. wing back now. Like we have Kukure, we've got Sonny March, we've got Yakamoda. Like we're quite stacked and there also, now for good players. No offense to Dan Byrne, two point Is there a bit of a correlation that he's been injured and we're doing well in the Premier League? Just saying. <laughs> yeah. No, um, no comment. No comment. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't want to say that to Dan. <laughs> if I say, uh, no, 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 no. Lovely no, guy, no, and no he, put, he puts a shift in. And also, yeah, and my, th- yeah, my threat, my threats for Leicester would be uh, Yuri Tielemans. I think he's incredible. Ooh, I, th- wow. I think he's a, he's an absolute oh, baller. Tielemans, yeah, I forgot yeah. About and, and 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 he, can, he controls that midfield. Yeah, indeed. I think I think that again. You know, we talked about the Maybe we've just listed yeah. their whole team at this point. <laughs> yeah, but no, but you know, you know, you know, we talked about the midfield battle uh, against Everton. We said how important yeah. that Alan and. Um, 
Decore part Decore, B. Yeah. I, th- I think Telemans and Ndidi, that's yeah. like just, if not better than that yeah, partnership it, of Everton. So better. that's going to be, you know, for Basuma, well, we all know how good Basuma is. So if he can keep either of those quiet, then, you know. I, I'd like to see Moda in there with Basuma, you know. That's, yeah, yeah it would. quite nice to see. Like, I, I just think like Moda great. a lot. Whenever I watch him play, I'd like him. And I, mate, I, I would been, love to see so much more of him, you know. 100%, mate. Even for, every time he's played for Brighton and every time he plays, he's played for Poland that I've seen, he's been incredible. Like, he's been really mm. good. So, yeah, no, I think I'd think i love to see that. That would be a good, good match-up with him and Ndidi as well. Mm. What happened to him? Yeah. <laughs> we just saw him for like a yeah, little bit. He just disappeared. Like, he may yeah. as well just not be here anymore. He just completely lost Here's it. Here's a really good dad joke. He knocked on the door and then left. God, yeah, that was awful. That was it's a shame I can't man. literally walk out of the room. One, one day when we've got yeah. a Seagull social room, we can actually just accidentally yeah. leave him alone and just ditch yeah. the whole thing. <laughs> right, let, let, let's, let, let's finish off the preview then, boys. Let's finish off the preview. Um, Ryan, score mm-hmm. predictions. Hit me. Oh, um... Okay, I think Leicester will score. So I'll say, I'll say two one. I'm going to back us. You know why not? Ooh. Let's just back the boys. Uh, I'm going to say that we're going to. I'm going to say Trossard and McAllister to score. So, so Ryan is predicting a seven year curse is going to be lifted. Uh, yes, at the Amex. Yeah, I like yeah, it. It's going to happen. Like Trust me. Love that. Watch this space. I, I predicted one nil last right uh, last week. Right for Bri- uh, Brighton winning. He did yeah. Um, yeah. So I was happy about that. And so I'm going to go. And say, just because they're playing against Napoli and might be a bit tired legged, I'm going to say a one all draw. Fair result. Fair result. Nice, nice. I'm I'm, I'm going to go the same as Ryan. I'm going to go 2 1 as well. Wow. Um, again, like for the for the for the factors that you mentioned, Ben. You know the the, the tired legs, and I feel like. With the, with the way we're playing at the moment and the confidence that we've got, you know, like I said, three wins out of four. You know, we're fifth in the Premier League. Why can't we go and beat Leicester? Why not? But yeah. really, if I'm if I'm thinking with my brain, if I think that was my heart, that was my heart speaking. That was my heart speaking. If I'm thinking with my brain, I'll, I'll go with the draw. I'll go with the draw as well. Um, yeah. But yeah, let's see. Yeah. Let's see. see. We got so the league, bold the league table. The league table drop is starting now. now from no, Leicester. it's not. It's no, not. No, it's we're not, gonna it's be not, all right. Not. We're gonna yeah, be all going right. Up. They're up, still man. going up. Shut up, Ben. My my private uh, Snapchat story is European Tour 2022, and I haven't changed it since May. So <laughs> that means that we're going to go to Europe this oh, year. Oh, yeah. So it's all right. For sure. <laughs> out the boys. Right, boys. Um, what are we having in the comments below for all the YouTube viewers? Uh, happy birthday, Maz. Oh, oh, thank you very much. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was your birthday. Happy, it was, I should say thanks, happy birthday. Mate. Happy birthday again. Thanks, mate. I saw thanks. you got... Yeah, what did you get, Maz? Because I saw uh, you got something with Yeah, so I've got a Brighton uh, home kit of this season with, with my with my surname <laughs> at the back yeah and and, and the big oh, yeah, trio yeah so i got the home kit and my friends which is i was speechless i didn't even know how to react they actually bought me a car it's not a sweet pretty, 16 yeah i know yeah they actually bought me a car which is pretty mental yeah, um i mean it wasn't a porsche or anything like that or Lambert, what car was it you know. uh it's a it's a peugeot, it began with p peugeot. yeah peugeot. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, peugeot, it's basically it's a, a porsche i think it's a peugeot yeah. 306 i believe 306 or right, 308 okay. one, of the, one of those it's got mates it's, 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 you know it gets me from a to b that's all i care about and the fact they got me a car, I was just so blown aback. I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, that's, like, mad. that's mad. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, no. Did you have to drive it back then? When you stayed? No. So I, I basically I need to sort out all the insurance, the, uh, the the parking permit, all that kind of like you know all that boring stuff um, before. So I it's just stuck in your back. mate's drive at the moment. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sort all that out and then um, yeah, hopefully bring it back. Next it's probably week. better than mine, mate. I don't even have an but... aircon in my car. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, do you know so what? It just, I'm just happy that I can <laughs> I can drive back to Brighton a bit more now because I live in London, yeah, which means I can drive back to Brighton a bit more freely instead of worrying about the trains and all that kind of mm-hmm. jazz. So um, yeah, no, yeah, mate, it was all good. So yeah, good weekend back. Uh, it good. was lovely. Yeah, right, boys. Better weekend else. than uh, mine. My sister leaving us. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Uh, well, listen. Look. Um, really appreciate everyone watching. Of course, as per every week, uh, make sure you do leave a like, a comment. Um, again, really appreciate it. It means a lot to us. Uh, and of course, subscribe if you already haven't. Uh, and keep streaming on Apple and Spotify. And of course. I hope enjoy. you enjoyed the hyper turquoise backgrounds. Yes, I yes. Let us, know, your TV let us know in the comments, actually. Home. Let us know in the comments if you do like it. That would be good to get yeah. some feedback on that. Um, if not, we'll revert back to the original. But I'm sure you'll like it. Mm. I think it looks pretty yeah, The plan was, like, when we play in the hyper turquoise, we'll obviously use this. And then if we're playing high, we'll, we'll play it. Yeah. And then if we're yeah. playing in our third kit, the yellow one, then we'll try. Yeah, we'll do a yellow one. Even though the yellow one didn't look great, but we'll Cheers, figure man. it out. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers for Thanks. explaining Just for clearing that up. Just in case you didn't understand what's going on here. <laughs> you failed all your GCSEs <laughs> <laughs> uh, amazing right boys it's been a pleasure as, as, as every week um, so we shall see you next week peace peace